In this video, I'm talking about my Tesla Model 3 long range and how I'm gonna pay roughly half price for the car after you take out all the tax savings and benefits. Now, this video is for you if you've either got a limited company, maybe you're a company director, or if you're self-employed. And bear in mind, I'm not a financial advisor or an accountant, so speak to your accountant or financial advisor before you take any of my advice. But let's get into it. So in February, I purchased my Tesla Model 3 long range for £50,440 here in the UK. And after all the tax savings that I'm going to talk about in this video, I'm going to end up paying around £25,000. Now to make it easier, let's just call the car £50,000 throughout this video. Okay, so let's start off by talking about what would usually happen if you have a company. And let's say this year you want to buy the Tesla Model 3. Now in this example, let's say your business has £100,000 worth of profit in the business and you pay yourself a £40,000 a year wage and dividend. And this year you want to take out £50,000 extra for the Tesla Model 3. Uh, by the way, all of the examples I'm going to talk about will also apply to monthly payments, but to make it easier, we'll talk in lump sums. Now, if you've got £100,000 worth of profit in your business, you're going to have to pay corporation tax on that £100,000, and that's currently at 19%. So that means you're going to lose 19% to corporation tax, which is £19,000. Now, due to UK wages and dividend taxes, let's say you take a basic salary of £12,500 and then you take a new dividend of £77,500 to cover your existing wages and dividends and the Tesla, you're now going to be paying tax of £16,020 as the dividend tax rate is 32.5% over £37,500. So now if you add your company taxes and your personal taxes, you'll have paid about £35,000 in taxes and you're free to buy your Tesla Model 3. Okay, so that sounds pretty normal, right? So here's where it gets interesting. A Tesla or any electric car is actually deemed as a tax deductible expense. So this means if you buy your Tesla through your business and let's say you still have that £100,000 worth of profit, you're actually reducing your profits by £50,000. Therefore, you'll reduce your corporation tax bill by £9,500 because you're only paying that corporation tax on £50,000 now instead of £100,000. But there's more. In this new example, the company has now paid for the Tesla Model 3, which means you no longer need to personally take out money or extra money from the business and pay tax on that. So this step alone saves you or me another 32.5% worth of tax on the extra 50,000 pounds that you would have had to withdraw in the first example. So as you can see in the first example, we had to spend 35,000 pounds in taxes to get the Tesla Model 3. But in the new second example, buying the car through your company or a limited business, you actually reduce your company's tax bills. You don't get any more tax bills for your wages or dividends. And we actually reduce the corporation tax to 9,500 pounds. And also there's no benefit in kind tax either, which I'll get to in a moment. So we've got a new lower corporation tax bill of 9,500 pounds. There's no extra taxes for us. So that's a saving of over 25,000 pounds that we can claim back that we wouldn't have got in the first example. But you may be thinking, haven't you always been able to put a company car through your business? Well, you kind of have, but there's something called benefit in kind. And essentially what the government does is it sees you getting a company car as kind of like an extra wage, an extra value, and they tax that with something called benefit in kind. So up until now, it's not really been worth buying a company car. So let me explain that a little bit more. Okay, so let's talk about this benefit in kind tax. And it's this tax which has always stopped me even trying to get a company car through my business. The tax is just way too high. So I'm gonna use my previous car, the Jaguar F-Type, as an example. Even though that car I own personally and it was second hand, but I think it's a good car to compare it to because it's almost the same speed and almost the same price. So if you purchased a Jaguar F-Type P300, it's 54, thousand pounds so quite a similar price to the tesla model 3 long range model and actually the tesla is actually a faster car now if you purchase that jaguar f-type through your limited company you would get a personal benefit in kind tax of seven thousand nine hundred and fourteen pounds every year or 659 pounds a month so it's just such a big tax to pay on top of the car payments to get that company car it's just never been worth it for me now Electric cars, and this includes all electric cars, not just Teslas, 
have a, a benefit in kind tax now starting at 1%. When I purchased the car, it was 0%. So I have no additional taxes to pay this year personally for having the Tesla Model 3. If you buy one now, you'll have just a 1% tax to pay, which is barely anything. So it makes buying a Tesla Model 3 so much more cheaper than any other car, even if you're buying a hybrid or a diesel. So that's another little saving that could save you thousands if you already own a petrol or a diesel car through your company, if you switch to a Tesla Model 3 or any other electric car. But let's talk about some other tax savings. A lot of people will be commenting, I know, and talking about VAT. There's nearly 9,000 pounds worth of VAT on a Tesla. Can you claim it back? Well, essentially, no. If you're using it for any kind of personal use at all, HMRC really do not like that and they are very strict on that. So it's just really not worth it unless, for instance, you are only, only using it for a business, but I would talk to your accountant first. There's also some other juicy savings to be had. Did you know there's no road tax to pay on a Tesla Model 3 or any electric car? On my previous Jaguar F-Type, that was over 350 pounds a year. Now, when I purchased the car, there was a £3,000 plug-in grant from the government which was available, so that saved me a lot of money. Unfortunately, that one is no longer available, but there are other savings to be had. As the car doesn't have an engine, there's barely any maintenance or servicing costs at all. There's basically nothing to service, so all you have to do is rotate the tyres every few years and maybe do an MOT, and that's about it. So that alone could save you hundreds of pounds over the course of a year. And the big one, fuel is so much cheaper in a Tesla Model 3 compared to petrol or diesel. You can get cheap rates to charge your car at home, you can use public charging, and in my case, I've got a lot of free public charging here in Manchester. So make sure to check out my other videos on how you can get the cheapest charging for your car. So there you go, that's how I saved almost half price on my brand new Tesla Model 3 long range here in the UK. Let me know if I've missed any costs or any savings in the comments section below. And if you want to learn any more business tips or if you want to see more from the Tesla Model 3, make sure you hit the notification bell when you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and remember to stay tuned to the channel to see our road trip to North Norfolk and Norwich. That's the video that's coming up next week, so stay locked to the channel.